Today's an exciting day uh, to announce our DPs. Uh, having guys that play not only in our NBL1 Central, but also represent uh, Adelaide. And the youth and part of my vision when I came to the 36ers was obviously trying to bread through the winning program. Uh, well, we're still yet to achieve uh, the ultimate. It's still building towards that. And we've had uh, players like Nick Marshall, who went from a DP to a roster player. And obviously the guys behind me, I think, uh, could be the future for the 36ers, but definitely have potential to be an NBL player in the future. Development player does mean they're developing, but obviously through the NBL and through their time playing from high school, we got two kids that are still in high school at the moment in year 12. And so balancing as you would if you went to the university, um, school first, obviously basketball, but being able to balance both is important. Um, and obviously after life, when you're playing basketball, it's good to have, uh, like in any sport, you've got to have a, a follow-up and a backup plan. Nah, uh, I mean, I guess from my point of view, it's just a proud moment for myself and the family, um, you know, to see, see the work that he's been able to put in. And um, obviously he's a, you know, government player, but, um, you know, the work starts now for him. Um, I'm already on Sundays back to, to push him harder training, so um, hopefully he does that. But, yeah, it's a very proud moment for, my, for myself and, and our family. Just uh, the way he's been able to develop his game, obviously um, basketball was my first love, um, the game I grew up playing and you know, we were able to, to play with him and um, so hopefully he's learned a few, few things off me when I, when I was um, running around but uh, yeah, clearly the way he's going now, hopefully, yeah, hopefully he goes past and you know, his name's out there so that, that is the plan. Um, I've got to get stronger, that's for sure. The big body's out there, it's faster, just got to get used to it, I'm excited though. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get that big, <laughs> but yeah. As, as your brother's kind of journey at the elite level helped you get an idea of what it takes to be an elite level athlete? Yeah, of course. Um, even, I remember recently we were on holidays and he made sure to get his workouts in before he could relax and seeing that, uh, I can see what it takes. Can you tell us about yourself as, as a player? What, what are your strengths and what do you want to work on now that you're in the uh, DP program? Um, I think I'm a very balanced player overall, can shoot, can pass, know the game, can play defense. I just think my body needs to catch up and that's what I hope to do. Do you have an NBA player or a, even from a different league who you kind of look up to or you model your game on? Not exactly. I mean, you pick things up from every player, you know, there's Steph shooting, there's all these other things, but yeah, just try and get better at everything. Yeah, probably could. I don't know. We'll see. Tour two. I think in today's game height doesn't really matter. It's more so skill. It's pretty positionless, but yeah. Put really good. I'm just really fortunate to have such a good support system. Obviously, my family, friends. Um, but more importantly, like school. They're like they're super supportive of the opportunity I've been given. So, just working around that, making sure I'm getting the most out of both basketball and my school is still sticking up. So yeah, just that. I think just taking, like being a sponge in the environment, taking lots of tips from obviously the guys like, as a point guard, like Jason Kadee, Mitch McCarron, Sunday Detch, those kind of guys, just taking tips off them, taking parts of their game into mind, just, yeah. You look at someone like Nick Marshall and what he's done and, and want to follow that part? Yeah, definitely. He's been a great example, like coming from SA, um, going through that DP spot and then getting the roster spot. That's something that I definitely want to strive for and come, yeah, try to get. Um, yeah, but he's a great example of what I want. Yeah. How, how close do you think you are to, to being able to match it in an NBL game? Um, I think it's definitely something I believe I can I can do. Um, obviously, there's a lot of work to do, learn off the older guys at the team. Um, but yeah, I think I'm confident in myself and I believe I can follow that path. Is it exciting that the Sixers and CJ are kind of going down a path that they want to invest in SA talent and local guys like yourself and, and these guys here? Yeah, definitely. That's very exciting. Um, like being an SA junior or growing up in SA, it's definitely exciting. That's a path they want to go down, um, that we want to go down and get all the SA local talent. I think it's good for the team, good for the city. It's, yeah, I think it would be a great, great thing. Come, like coming straight here as a junior, it's like definitely different, you know, bigger bodies, uh, you know, it's just a fast, more fast paced game. Uh, 
you know, I just learned tips off, you know, the older guys, the vets, and, you know, just, you know, got stuck into it, you know. Um, just been working consistently, trying to get my body bigger, you know, against bigger bodies. But yeah, just been working on my game consistently and just, you know, continually trying to get better.